Hello YouTube, I hope you're doing well. In today's video, we're on code.org, Unit 4, Lesson 7, Project 9. We are looking at the Can I Adopt a Cat app. The instructions tell us to add code to get numbers from the user input for age and money. It tells us to use the get number instead of the get text to make sure that the values that are stored are numbers and not strings. It says write a Boolean expression inside of the if statement that checks if the money is equal to 40 and age is over 14. It says you will need to use the logical operators. And then finally, it tells us to remember that if the app is not running, we can use our mouse to hover over different parts of the app to get the ID. By default, when you start this project, the show text is the workspace that you're given, and you cannot change out of this until you update portions of the app the update that we need to make is found here in the if portion of this program. The problem that we're having is the if isn't checking for anything, and so we need to go ahead and add the criteria that it's looking for. The instructions say that we are looking for two things. First, that our money is equal to 40, and that our age is over 14. So let's go to the math section, and what we wanna use is the and Boolean operator, I'm just going to go ahead and click and drag that within this section. We're also going to need this, the equality operator. We'll drag that onto the left side. And then finally, we need the greater than operator. What we need to find out is money exactly 40. So let's go ahead and type in money, our variable that we can see at the top. And we're going to go ahead and type in the number 40. We also need to see is the variable age greater than the number 14. Now that we've added those, we can switch to the show blocks view. And in my opinion, that's often easier to look at. We are not done with this app yet. We also need to update our variables. So let's go ahead and click on the variables part of the toolbox. And we're going to need two of these, assign a variable. The first variable that we're going to update is the age. So we'll go ahead and type age. We need to go to the UI controls and it tells us in the instructions that we need to get number for this. The ID is going to be age number. The other variable that we need to update is money. We'll use the get number again. The ID is money number. Before I click run to see if the app works, let's go ahead and review what we have. By default, we were given two variables. Each default for those variables is zero. When the user types the information here and clicks the can I adopt a cat button, this begins to run. The first thing it does is it updates the age and then it updates the money based upon the inputs found in the app. Then it uses if to compare two different things. The first thing is the money is it equal to 40 exactly? And is the age greater than 14? If both of those criteria are met, the show element yes cat is shown on the screen. If one or both are false, it shows us the element no cat. Let's go ahead and test out our app. We'll go ahead and start with the age 13, and we'll put in exactly 40, and we'll click the button. It says, no, we can't adopt a cat. Let's change this number now to 14 and see if that works. We still get that no. Let's try the number 15. The answer is yes. We can see that the age portion of this works. Let's go ahead and change this to $41 and see if it lets us. The answer is no. And that's just because what we're checking here is for an exact number instead of a number greater than or equal to 40. Once you're done with this, make sure you click finish.